Hey guys, so Glassmorphism has become a little bit more popular than I expected. And what's kind of funny about this whole thing is that many people are making Glassmorphism videos and tutorials now and they're all mentioning that it was kind of started by some guy. So nice to know that I'm a some guy to you. And many of you have asked us for a tool that you could use to generate the CSS and actually use it on the web. It took us a while, but that tool is finally ready. So if you go to glassmorphism.com, you can actually use that tool and copy the CSS. And you can modify a couple of things like the blur value to make it more blurry. And generally, the higher the blur value, the more accessible it's going to be because the text on those cards is not going to clash with the stuff that's underneath them. So it's best to actually have a blur value of over 4 or 5 at least and you can even try a much much larger blur value. And then the transparency is something that can increase the accessibility even more. So you can have pretty opaque windows using glass morphism while still keeping a little bit of the effect in as you can see here. You can also modify the outline, so create an outline which is a very thin one point overlaid border that goes around the object and it kind of creates the illusion of the glass edge. You can turn it off or on whatever you like and you can also modify the color so you can make them dark or you can make them colorful in any color that you like. But I personally think that the white ones and the black ones are probably the best looking ones and obviously each color can require a different blur value and a different transparency to match the background that you have because we have a fixed background here so if you have a different background you might have to pick a different color or a different blur value and then when you're done you can just copy the CSS and use it in your website in your code so have fun playing with it from what we know right now it doesn't really work that well in firefox but it works okay in safari and chrome so play around with it let us know what you think and uh, yeah if you like the video give it a like or subscribe and see you next time cheers